before discussing further, let's understand how the HTTP works. So HTTP means hypertext transfer protocol and is a protocol used for a communication between a client and the server over the internet. I do not mean literally the internet. It can be any media where these two devices, client and server can communicate. It can be your local LAN, it can be internet, it can be your wide area network. And it is a foundation of data communication on the World Wide Web. In client server interaction, the communication in HTTP is based on client server model. The client typically a web browser sends requests to the server and the server respond to those requests. So in this example, this is client, this is a server and this client is sending some requests uh, with some sort of the HTTP method. And then you have a response code along with the status code. These HTTP defines methods are nothing but a specific action to be performed on a particular resource. And very common HTTP methods are get, post, put, delete. Sometimes you can refer as a code operations. You can do more research while going to the developer tool which you can basically go from here go to the more tools and the developer tools you are going to see this kind of a screen and when you put the url here this url will be open in a browser but there are so many things happens behind the scene and that's what we are going to explore here so under the network tab you can see this was a get request when i typed https www google.com so what is happening is request method is get return status code is 200 okay similarly you can see there are going to be many get request so a lot of transaction happens behind the scene and that's exactly what you can see here now you see this is a request method post and status code is 204 no content so like that you can scroll it down and see what are those messages and how it looks like let's use a travel analogy imagine this is a client and this client is basically planning for a trip and this is a planner so it can be any sort of the travel reservation website you have different options for transportation like plane train bus car and all those things so get is like looking for departure board at airport or a train station you are retrieving some information which is coming from this server going to the client but you have not made any changes or any booking as of now you're just watching the data so that time you're just going to request and this request is going to be the get and in return you get the response the all the data which is coming from this travel portal similarly post it is similar to booking a ticket so you are providing some specific information like your name your destination and your preferred date to reserve a seat on flight or maybe on a train so this is going to be a post now let's talk about the put so we reached up to the post and suppose you need to modify your booking detail like changing your seat maybe updating your departure time it is like contacting the transportation provider to make some sort of the adjustment so that time this request will be put and the final bad thing can happen 
to you if you have decided to cancel your trip altogether and that time it is going to be delete so this is how all these operation works if you take a look on these diagram this is for the push this is for the put and this is for the delete for every method or action you see there is going to be a status code that is how it get acknowledged whether the operation is successful or it failed and these status code they are not limited to 200 or 400 there are going to be tons of codes and the method also it is not limited to the four there are approximately eight methods and you can do for the research from google or we go for the official documentation for SCTP. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.